Hey, Mike here, how you doing? Another quick video, I wanna look at helping people understand the processes and flows that they need to go through in order to get their first job in IT. What is it that you need to learn specifically? So I've been thinking about this a lot recently and I've had a few questions about it too. And I've come to the conclusion that there are some key things that you can do that will help you get that first job. But also I wanna discuss just your first couple of years, your first three years in the industry and some other things that you should do as well. So let's jump straight into it. So we're gonna start at year zero. So you've got no job in IT whatsoever. You don't have a job, you're looking to get in. What do you learn? Where do you start? So you gotta start with the fundamentals. You gotta be looking at hardware, you're gonna be looking at networking, operating systems, programming, and databases. So for hardware, just look at CPU, RAM, disk types, network cards, just sort of get a brief understanding of what they are. For networking, you want to be looking at the TCP IP networking model. You'll be looking at the difference between TCP and UDP, what IP is, HTTP, DNS, those kind of protocols. Go over all the popular ones and you'll be fine. Next, we've got operating systems. So I would start with Linux and I would learn how to administrate a Linux system. So that's installing software, uninstalling software, adding and removing users, securing the system, starting and running services, getting Docker installed, running Docker containers, on that system, the firewall and the networking stack. Make sure that you're familiar with those things and then maybe look at Windows as well and learn how to do the same things inside a Windows server. The next thing you've got is programming. Just start with Python. Don't overthink this unless you wanna go specifically into programming, but I'm a DevOps engineer. Those who follow this channel, I, I'm a DevSecOps engineer. So that's primarily the focus I'm talking about here. However, if you wanna go into programming, then you can look at other languages as well. But if you're looking at this from a DevSecOps perspective, then you are looking at Python being the primary language that you need to learn. Then you've got databases. Just stick with relational for now. There's lots of different types. There's no SQL, there's graph, there's all these cool things out there. But just stick with relational, stick with MySQL, and just stick with SQL. So just learn SQL, learn MySQL, get it up and running, and then write some basic Python to talk to a database. And then maybe once you've got the programming, the operating systems and the database systems all in place, then I recommend that you make a small little blog app and you get them all talking to each other, the database, the program, etc. Really simple stuff. So still in year zero, what about certifications? So I wouldn't go with anything too major. I would be looking at the entry level AWS and the entry level Azure certification. So that is the, with AWS, I believe that's the certified cloud practitioner. And with Azure, that is the AZ900. First year, you just want to show that you understand what cloud is, the services that are available, and how the, how the catalogs for those vendors is broken down. You don't need to be looking at the architecture associate just yet. We'll get to that in year one. What else do you need? Well, you're going to need a portfolio piece as well. So get yourself on GitHub, get a GitHub repository set up, Start getting some documentation in there about your project that you've written. Remember I mentioned just a second ago, write a small little bit of blogging software in Python using Python Django or Python Flask using MySQL. So it's backed by that. We'll get the code for that. Get all, got everything you do to make that work. Get that in a GitHub repository. Document it, write unit tests and make sure that it is a complete project that someone can download and run as well locally. That's a very, very powerful thing to have. Another option is mentoring. Get someone to help you overcome the technical hurdles in your first year, because as you're learning things, you're gonna hit lots of walls. Pay someone, literally, it's a great investment if you can afford it, pay someone to get you over those hurdles, okay? If you wanna know more about that, then head over to upload.academy. Otherwise, go out there and find a mentor. So that is year zero. So you, now you've got yourself a job in IT, what do you do in the first and second year? of your career. Well, this is where you start looking at more serious certifications. So my recommendation for the first for the first and second years of your of your career is you just look at the associate level architecture certifications for both AWS and Azure and I, I am recommending you get both certificates for both vendors. Don't just focus on one. You can, but I don't recommend it. Then once you've got those, I would then focus on just getting good just getting good at your day job. So just focus on the tasks at hand, focus on the things that you've been asked to do and get really, really good at them. Get really, really good at the tools that you're using and just focus. So you wanna build those all of those fundamental skills and you wanna strengthen them and you wanna build that core on, on underneath your career so that when you go further on, you've got this core knowledge that you can build on. 
But that's your first job and that's your first few years. What happens when you hit your third year? What do I recommend? Well, actually at this point, I would recommend you decide whether you want to specialize or not. So let's say that you're pure AWS house. You've got that you've got that base associate architecture AWS cert. You've got the, maybe you did go ahead and take my advice and you got the, the AZ 104 as well, that associate architect Azure cert, but now you want to specialize. You can skip the pro level architecture certificates and you can look at the, the specialist certificates as, instead. You can look at the security ones, the networking ones, the data ones, etc. And so you can sort of go sideways, shift over slightly and then start specializing in a particular route. So I recommend you do that as well. Now's also the time to start looking at doing certs outside of your current domain of expertise. So I said, go and get the associate level architecture call, uh, certificates for AWS and Azure at the same time. If you haven't done that, then go and do it. And then make sure that if every day you're playing around with Azure, go and get, go and get AWS certified. If every day you're playing around with AWS, go and get Azure certified, okay? and sort of get certified in fields, even just to a minimal level, even just entry level certification, get certified in fields outside of your current day to day, because ultimately you, you need to know a lot about a lot really in this industry, but also you need to be looking at about the third year and onwards and at least once every year, you need to be looking at the horizon in front of your career. Is it dropping off a cliff or is it going upwards? Are you, seeing a, are you seeing an upward demand in your industry? And do you predict that there's going to be upward demand in your industry? Or is everyone going off to the right or going off to the left or fragmenting and sort of going off in different directions? Well, you need to decide what direction you want to go in. So that's the zero through to year three plan that I recommend. Year zero, get your fundamentals sorted, get the basic certs in place, get a portfolio. Year one through two, just focus on your associate level certificates and get really good at your job. And then year three onwards, so when you start deciding whether you want to specialize and you keep your eye on the horizon and you make sure that your skills are going off to the left and the right and you're, you're bringing in some of those certifications and keeping yourself familiar with what's out there. Hopefully that was helpful. I'll see you soon.